let's create a program that interacts with the user with the, with the keyboard so we call it name.py and uh, we'll ask some uh, information like the first name uh, we can ask keyboard information with the function row input in python 2.0 and in python 3 you will have to specify uh, just input so let's the last name simply output those so we can type uh, that information and we can continue using those variables throughout the program so this of course looks very uh, very old style uh, in, in the terminal so you might actually prefer graphical windows uh, to do so we can use tk enter library so we just have to include these two modules and we create a function called uh, key input which has a, uh, a string like a message same as the row input and then we have the default initialize uh, functions so these two uh, default so and you have the value that will be returned so we return uh, a new di the value of the new dialog and on the window uh, with the message might have to specify that and return it uh, afterwards so it's a little bit more better then we just change this message row input to key input and we get the graphical windows so first name bill first name gates and finally the age So you have seen now to get keyboard input from the from the terminal and in a graphical way. The one thing to keep in mind is that all of the things returned from this function, either key input, input if you're using Python 3, or raw input, they are um, they are strings. So you cannot actually say h plus one or something met of something more mathematical, because you'd first have to convert a string to a number. So uh, in case you want whole numbers, it's an integer, or otherwise a floating point number. So then it would actually be a number you can operate with. Something to keep in mind.